Our next artist both paints and teaches, using her experiences to inspire her artwork. We sit down with Ellen Nelson in her studio to hear about her work, art, and the community. Describe the work of Ellen Nelson. I make big piles of things. My work is greatly inspired by Buddhist mandalas, the circle-shaped uh, radiating from the center outward, but um, it's just also kind of a chaotic jumble of everyday items. Uh, I guess this one is probably my favorite series, uh, the luxury goods and the toys and the food and drugs and guns. Um, so that one was, in, in particular, was taking a look at what it's like to live in a world where everything comes at a price. The series is called For Display Only. The paintings are really detailed and involved in hopes that people can actually stand there and look at them for a really long time. Um, and I think, you know, the longer we can be still with something, the more people can get to know these objects and think, hey, how do I interact with these things in my own life? And start asking questions like, why are these things important to me? Um, how does how does it affect the way I look at other people, or how do I feel about myself? All right, Ellen, I'm ready to be put to work. What's going to happen here? All right, Shelley, well, each, you've caught me between series, so I'm not actually working on paintings mm -hmm. right now, but I'm starting to build my canvases for the next whole series. Great. Um, each painting starts out in the lumber yard, so I build all my mm. own frames, um, and it starts, this one here is two feet, and it's oh. just um, two, Three inch boards. All right. Did and, you have to put all this together? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, my dad and I do it in a wood mm -hmm. shop together. Aww. So, and then once this is made, we staple the canvas to it. Because um, the canvas is you're ultimately going to your painting's ultimately going to be on this, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you want to put in the Ooh. first staple, okay, right here. And left handed. Ah. Okay. It's one in every group. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There you Voila! go. Perfect. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. So and you'll do that all the way around. All correct? the way around. So the next step, I would take okay. the pliers right. and stretch it. Make sure it's nice and taut. You want me to do a pet? So can I do one from here? Uh, oh, sure. Good lord, watch your finger. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, right. that was almost good. Almost good. So okay. that's why we all have right. the hammer. Oh, yes. Voila. Voila. You also have a book out. What's that about? So right out of college, a professor recommended me for this job that the U of M's Department of Neurosurgery was looking for an illustrator for a children's book for kids who have brain tumors. Um, so, yeah, that was a really interesting process. I'd never done anything like it before, kind of working with the author and with the whole team of people who, you know, everybody wants something a little different and the people who donated the money for the project. And uh, in the end, uh, we came out with a book called Wings of Courage. Yeah, it's a lot of butterflies in it. <laughs> all right, you've done your, your stapling all the way around, but there are, is that one corner. Four yeah. corners left, yeah. So we've, we've, the corners are the last part. We've okay. worked our way out on every edge, nice. and it's easy, because mm -hmm. this one's a little one. So for the corner, I've stapled up to the end. Okay. And I'm just going to, it's kind of I'm just a... hold it for you? Can that be my job? Sure. So you, you have to, like, right like this is how you, like, you make your bed. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then we got to pull it really, really real tight. Real tight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hold that right. Hold there. that for you. Okay. Ready? Here. Ooh, watch my fingers. And one more. I'm going to tuck this in. Okay. Fingers go back, though, don't they? Oh, yeah. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Ooh, yes. There it is. Nice so and pretty. Nice and pretty. And ready to do that three more times. And then you're ready to paint. And then I'm ready. Well, then I'm ready to gesso. And then I'm ready to put my primer on. <sighs> and then I'm ready to paint. I look forward <laughs> to that end product. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Talk about your challenges. For sure. Uh, being an artist is not easy. You're essentially running your own business. Uh, there's a lot to keep track of and it's a, it's a slow start for somebody who's trying to actually produce work and sell work and do nothing else. Um, but I have a lot of artist friends and we come together and whenever I'm with those people I, it affirms that you know I'm doing the right thing and whenever I'm in here working and I see the 
the finished product and reaffirms that also. Things are starting to pick up, so worth it. <laughs> I trust this is your attire. It's well used. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is about the end of a cycle for a pair of overalls. I uh, usually wear them for a year and get new ones after the hot summer. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen Nelson. Thank you. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.